Hi, I'm Rongji. In this tutorial video, I will show you how to do multi-tone noise power ratio measurement by using XApps N9056EMYE application. So here's the agenda. Let's get started. Noise power ratio is a common method to quantify the intermodulation distortion in real wideband system, especially in the satellite communications. When we test with NPR, the stimulus signal goes through the device. The notch fills up with noise, causing some unwanted spectral regrowth. The challenging part of the NPR test is creating the NPR test signal. To make accurate NPR test, we need to create a sharp and deep notch signal. The best way to do it is with a vector signal generator. This gives us a lot of flexibility. We can create the multi-tone signal with some tones left unused, and we can define the different notch position and add multiple notches with different notch widths. With Keysight multi-tone NPR test solution, you can easily create NPR signal and make the analysis within a single user-friendly interface. Our automated calibration ensures the better notch quality for the accurate results. Now this solution works with different signal generators and signal analyzers from basic to high end. We also offer the option of the switch box to make testing easier. To use NPR measurement, please make sure you have the valid software license and the firmware version. Now let's jump into a live demo. To begin, I've already set up hardware connections as outlined here. The test device I use here is a band pulse filter. You can connect your device to any port of the switch box. Here, I'm using port 1 for the direct pass and port 4 for the device pass. Now, let's start NPR testing, which involves four basic steps. Firstly, let's explore how to connect signal generator and configure its settings. So to active the direct pass, go to the switch box software front panel and turn on port 1 of both switch 1 and switch 2. Next, switch to the X apps. For the measurement, please make sure you have the valid firmware version and software license for the NPR application. Now click on the tab of the main tab, select Channel Quality Mode, then NPR Measurement and Normal View, click OK. So in the NPR Measurement, navigate to My Setup, Signal Generator tab, click on Connection Management. You can add your SG by typing its IP address. Here I've already added my SG, so click on Connect button here. One successful connection, you can get message shows connected. Next, config SG settings, such as the channel number and other advanced settings. Here, I will keep it as its default value. Next, set SA operating frequency to 5 GHz and you will see SG frequency coupled. Now, click on Apply Settings to SG button here. Let's switch to SG window where you will see the SG has been controlled and configured, but no waveform is playing. Now let's proceed to the step 2 to create the NPR test signal and apply it to the SG. So let's switch back to XApps, click on the Tone tab here, and modify the tone numbers to 1001. The calculated bandwidth is 100 MHz because we are using the number of tones and tone spacing option here. So click Config NPR parameters button to access different phase types options for creating multi-tone data. You can also import your own tone or the notch data such as signal studio data. So return to the NPR configuration page, disable all notch data for the demo purpose, and a click Apply Tones to Signal Generator. In the demodulation spectrum, now you will see that 1001 tones have been generated and demodulated correctly. Next, enable three notches with different locations and widths in the notch table here. Three green masks will appear to help identify the notch positions and widths. Click on Apply Tones to the signal generator again. Now in the demodulation spectrum, from the yellow trace here, you will see 1001 tones with three notches generated and demodulated correctly. 
So switch back to the extra window. Now you will see the multi-tone waveform is playing now. Now let's proceed to the step three to measure NPR results for the direct pass. Let's switch back to the XFS window. In the results window, we can view NPR results of these three notches. We can observe that high IMD within these notches, likely due to the noise from components in the signal generator and the cables. So to ensure accurate DUT NPR measurement, calibration is necessary to eliminate these effects. Let's navigate to the calibration tab here and click on calibration tools. The calibration process starts automatically. After a few seconds, you will notice NPR results within the three notches have decreased, indicating that improved notch quality. So now let's proceed to the step four to measure DUT NPR results. To active the DUT pass, let's go to the switch box software front panel here and turn on port 4 of the both switch 1 and switch 2. Let's go back to accepts and restore the measurement. Now you will get accurate NPR results for your device. For more insightful test results, you can add the results window of the mark table. In the mark menu here, add mark 1 for the notch 1 position and enable mark function to measure band density of the notch 1. Clicking on the second row in the mark table here will quickly navigate to the mark 2. And you can similarly define the mark functions for notch 2, notch 3. Lastly, adjust the layout of the results window. Now you can view NPR results, band density, band power, or mark noise of these notches simultaneously. Accept NPR measurement provides various test results, making it easy to generate the NPR test signal, all within a single user-friendly interface. To learn more and to download a free trial, visit us at this website. Thank you for watching.